Bible, got the gun. Phone on sound. Actually, already sound. Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you can see, I'm here in my office yet again because apparently you guys liked my instructional videos so much. I thought, honestly, I, I thought I'm gonna go through those comments and I'm definitely gonna find someone who's like, you don't know what you're talking about. But no, no, not a single one. So uh, thank you uh, for your positive response to my first attempt at instructional videos. Let me think, is this really, really for, yeah, yeah, whenever it comes to firearms, yeah, definitely, no. Uh, yeah, I look sometimes at my uh, year, year and a half old videos, the reviews that I made, and I'm, I'm like, man, that was bad, really bad. But anyway, today I decided to make another instructional video since the hell whole world is going to freaking hell. Uh, as you guys can see, I mean, listen, at this, at this point, everything that's going on, if you don't already see the importance of the Second Amendment and also the times that are about to come, just like it's written in the Bible, uh, I mean, I really don't know what to tell you. So, hopefully this instructional video will help you prepare to all the additional preparing that you should be doing, all right? Uh, so another one of those tips. But in this video, I'm gonna I wanted to talk about the um, sights, sights and aiming, acquiring the aim. Because there's a lot of talk about it. Some say you have to do this many eyes. Some say no, it's only one eye. Some say you have to. It, there's a lot of talk. Uh, so so I kind of wanted to give you as much as I as I know and I'm my background is more from the competition shooting but uh, I will also give you a few tips whenever it comes to the combat shooting uh, which I don't have a lot of experience with but as much as I know I will tell you so let's begin the very first thing I got um, oh, you like that black huh check this out OD green <laughs> Yes, this is one of my uh, thresholds. Uh, still in progress, as you can see, I still need to do some slide work and trigger and a lot of other stuff, but the stippling is done. Anyway, um, the very first thing that you want to figure out, kind of a good starting point, your dominant eye. And I know you probably heard about that a lot, dominant eye, dominant, what the hell is dominant? Oh, hopefully in this video, I can explain you enough for you to figure this dominant eye once and for all. Okay, so what you're doing is make sure both, and by the way, there's nothing in here for the sensitive ones on my channel, because I know you. there's some sensitive ones on my channel, all right? <laughs> and I was dry firing it in the safe direction with no people behind, all right, for the sensitive ones. So, so the very first thing you want to do, keep both of your eyes open for now. Just both of your eyes open and try to acquire a target with both of your eyes open and acquire the target, acquire, let's see, I'm gonna, you gotta make sure you pick something. I have this little picture with a little palm tree. So I'm gonna aim at the palm tree uh, with both eyes open and I aim as best as I can. Now, what you are doing, you're gonna close one of your eyes. It doesn't matter. You wanna start with the right one, you wanna start with the left one, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start with the left one. Or, or let's do right one, okay, whatever, right one. Okay, is your target still, is your sight still proper, just like the way you were holding with both eyes? Okay, if that's the answer, yes, then your dominant eye is the left one. Uh, and in my case, yes, it is the left one. But if it's not, it's like completely off. Okay, close that eye and open the other eye. Now it's way off for me, but if it is spot on for you, then your dominant eye is the right eye. It's very, very important. Uh, now we're moving on to the second, second uh, part, and that's where the debate happens quite a lot. In, in Some people say you have to shoot with both eyes open. Some people say that you have to shoot with one eye open only. Uh, some people say that it doesn't really matter. Um, I would like to go to neutral side, really doesn't matter, uh, but one thing I wanted to point out, to me personally, much faster to acquire my target 
with one eye. Just get that eye out of the... Because if you do it with this, you have a little bit of a double vision going on the side. Try it. Look with both eyes, you have a little bit of a double vision. Just one eye, now you're perfect. There's nothing distracting. And you want to be concentrating on the sides, which we'll talk about later, but you want to be concentrating on the sides, so you don't want to have that little double vision going because you have two eyes open. So, for competition type of style shooting, for accuracy shooting, if you want to inf impress your friends on the, on the range, one eye. But for combat tactical situations, both eyes definitely going to be open because if you check, you close your eye, because uh, I have the left dominant eye, so I'm aiming with the left dominant eye and I have this closed. If I just pay attention for a second and open the right eye, I mean, I have this whole field of vision that I was missing because I was aiming. That means somebody from here can... And you see how it is important in combat situations. So here, if that helps solve your debate, there you go. For accurate shooting, for impressing someone with your shooting, or if you're requiring the target for a second and then you're opening up, maybe, however you want to go with it, one eye. For combat situations, keep <laughs> keep as many eyes open as you can, all right, for combat situations. So, hopefully that clears it. Find your dominant eye, figure out, or even practice, I would say, because why not? Practice both, open eye and closed eye, right? And number three, now acquiring the target, using the sights properly to acquire the target. Okay, so this is Glock, and y'all familiar are with the, yeah, I'm gonna start freaking get like a Tennessee X, and I'm sure y'all familiar or something. Uh, uh, as you can see, it's, it, it has a design pattern going here, right? Uh, do I have any other guns? No, nah, well, I only have Glocks. There's another Glock over there, so no, never mind. Uh, but sometimes you have a three dot, you know, you have different sides. Sometimes this can be a little bit confusing because you see you have white, all right? You have a white dot. Okay, so you might think, wait a second, so this white dot, is it supposed to be sitting on the white line? Or is it supposed to be in the center of the square? Or is it supposed to align to the very top of the square, right? You kind of like, you know, let me try it this way, let me try it this way, so you have inconsistency going. The way it is supposed to be on every single gun. Forget the white line, forget the dots, forget everything. Remember the posts, that's all your concern. You see the post, you see, come on camera, don't let me down here, all right, there you go. You see the top of the post right here. This top of the post right here, must align with this top of the post. So the, the rear post and the front post, they're supposed to be aligning perfectly. Forget about the white stuff, whatever red stuff, whatever other kind of sides you have. Concentrate on the height. And then when you have the height down, you center it and you fire. And it's going to be hit after hit after hit after hit. That's it. As long as you get your grip down, which if you want to learn about the grip, I did the whole video just like that on just specifically how to grip. Believe it or not, freaking 20 minutes of me explaining the grip and I didn't even mention a lot of things there, about which I'm going to probably do uh, a whole separate video on about the stance and all that kind of sort of stuff. Um, so, figure out your dominant eye, right? Uh, what was the second one? Try practicing with both eyes open and one eye open and both eyes open so that you have a competition style shooting and tactical combat style shooting both eyes or one eye, right? And the third one, remember, it's the posts that matter. Uh, that's why a lot of times you see people say that they prefer just black posts. No color, nothing, no dots, nothing to make it stand out. And that brings me to the point of aiming combat, tactical style. Because this right here, what I just explained to you, this, oh, this taking it out easy and perfectly aligning it, and then you're, you're nice and relaxed, you <sighs> bam, bullseye, right? Not that you obviously, whenever it comes to tactical stuff, combat stuff, 
yeah forget about being relaxed forget about breathing right <laughs> so everything I just told you throw it out completely that is just for relaxing day on the range because that's not what you're gonna do in the combat in a tactical situation you're not gonna do that and please don't do that please this is completely different thing okay what my uh, mentor told me about this and it, it, it works it helps leave the gun on the table all right and use your finger without even thinking look at anything in your room okay okay there's a git uh, guitar fine i'll have to do it like it's 180 turn guitar uh, behind me i don't have it in aim nothing if i turn around look at it and point a finger at it think about this you look at it you point the finger at it point the finger at it and then see a line how close you are on target and i bet you you will be pretty much freaking spot on let's see yeah that center and it doesn't take any time it's instinctual as long as you're looking at something you can point at it point 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 as just pick any blue green brown uh blue red stick diploma 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 <laughs> I mean, just try it and you'll be like, what the hell? I have this hidden skill. Yes, you do. You have the hidden skill. Now, pick up the gun, look at the target. Well, now it's a target, right? Now it's a target. You look at it, you point at it. Look at it, point at it. Look at it, point at it. And then, one of these times, I'm going to do this green palm. Look at the green palm, point at it. Now, let me keep it in steady and try to see how close wow i am literally pointing at the little green thing over there and you know what i'm going to show you just to show you how far it is look that's the freaking green palm right by my son's picture i know i know it's, uh, i wasn't aiming at my son i promise <laughs> so, uh, but you see how it works <clears throat> so the rule is Man, I lost my freaking voice explaining this video. The rule is, as long as you're looking at the thing, you can immediately aim at it, point at it, shoot at it without even acquiring the target per se. And you probably gonna be somewhere close, very, very close, or most likely is going to be a hit most likely it's going to be a hit because this is just instinctual we point at things one of the very first things well i can't say one of the beds a little exaggeration okay scratch that exaggeration no one of the very first things but some of the very first things that we learn as a communication device as kids is to point at things mama all right papa that i want that this Give me this, this, this. It's 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 just just it's there. It's part of it. It's it's, it's weird. And when when I was I, when I was told that it was kind of like a, it was a revelation. It was literally enlightenment. <laughs> but you see how how some how it it is important to always continue growing as a person, always learning new things because there's a lot of things that we do not know, and there's a lot of things that we can teach each other and that's really what makes us stronger especially during the times like this we have to stick together we have to be one family because most likely these are the people that are going to be next to you when we hit the point of the book of revelation where it starts to get really 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 bad so i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna let, leave you on the note of things getting really really bad um, i really do hope that you're prepared that you are aware that you're learning new skills that you are building a community all right i really really hope for that and uh let me know if you have any requests in the uh comments below uh, 
for instructional videos apparently now I'm doing instructional videos uh, and um, of course uh, gun reviews and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my new church channel called uh, the church of fire uh, as, we, as you know we are uh, building a church over here not too far in Fort Myers and our actually very first sermon is gonna be March 6 so make sure to subscribe to that I have it in uh, where do I have it? In the very front of my Firearms of America YouTube in the recommended channel section. Thank you very much guys for watching. Always appreciate your time. I'll see you guys in the next video.